All right, guys, so we've done the hardware configuration for our PLC. Uh, we're doing baby steps here, so little steps and then we'll build up. Uh, so one of the things we need to know is where are those files uh, for the Siemens product, where are they actually kept? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our documents folder. So I've opened that up here. Uh, then we're going to go to our local disk. So C drive right here for me. And uh, then we're going to go to users. And then you guys should have a student or administrator. Uh, for mine, it's under the administrator here. And the main thing that we're looking for is we're looking for our documents folder right here. Okay, once we go into documents, then we're looking for automation. So we click on automation and there's all of our programs that we've been working on, right? So there's our base PLC program that we were working on, right? Like I've done numerous videos on, on that guy, but uh, there's your base PLC program. So you can use that, open that up every time you come back into class. If you want to save that, then I need you to copy the entire folder and then bring it over to your USB stick. Okay, if we take a look here, um, you can't just copy that base PLC program AP14 or AP15. Uh, it needs all of these folders as well. So take the entire folder, don't cut it. Otherwise, you like the base PLC program is there for uh, yourself to use and for others to use on the computer. But just go and copy that bad boy bring it onto your USB stick and then you um, make sure before you leave to open up the program and make sure that it works from your USB stick. Okay. Uh, if you're also, if you're working on the factory IO programs as well, then go back to your documents folder. So all of our Siemens stuff is going to be under the automation. Um, all of our Arduino stuff from, um, from basic would be under Arduino, obviously. And then for factory IO, if we open this guy up right here, because we're going to get there and build up some, uh, some scenes and stuff like that, then you should have um, stuff for your scenes right here. Okay, so again, on the main screen for the computer, you'll have basic, intermediate, and advanced instrumentation. Um, so I may have you at some point copy and paste factory I.O. scenes into this folder right here. But again, in order to get to either your Siemens products or to your factory I.O., they're here in your documents folder and you just have to go through users. Then you guys, it should say student and then documents. And then if you go to automation, like say, like say I don't need this anymore, this base PLC program, um, then I can just delete that, that bad boy out. Uh, remember it doesn't say, are you sure? Right? So it just gets rid of it. But again, you can have all your programs here and copy and paste to a USB for further use or just for backups. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Next thing we're gonna start off with, uh, I believe is an AND circuit. So starting off nice and slow. We'll see you in the next video on the playlist.